guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack, courtesy of Stetler Dodge Jeep Ram in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so some of you guys may have already known, I do have two kids, so I am always on the lookout for nice, fun family sedans like the Charger Scat Pack. Yes, this is a four-door with back seats, so therefore I am interested. So back seats with a V8, that is. So in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to paddle shifters, the braking, the steering wheel, ride quality, cargo space, rear legroom, all of that fun stuff. Exhaust clip included, of course. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2021 Charger Scat Pack will start at $41,920. There is, however, a wide body variant. That one is going to start at $47,915. But regardless of which variant that you go with, the power plant on this beast is going to be the same. Powering the Charger Scat Pack is a 6.4 liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 485 horsepower at 6,100 RPM, 475 pound-feet of torque coming in at 4,100 RPM, power sent to rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which, like I said, I will be testing out in a little bit here. Zero to 60 time on the track comes in at around 3.8 seconds on the street, approximately 4.3 seconds. It is always a substantial difference when you compare those two, but I did want to mention them. MPG numbers on this one, 15 in the city, 24 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test, I did want to mention there of course are several different drive modes you could check out on this one, including street, sport, and track. The way to actually go through those drive modes, there is a black drive mode button. It's kind of blended in right around the uh, volume and tune button. So you're just going to press that that, and that is going to give you a ton of different options adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity suspension settings and so on so quite a bit of adjustments you can have on this thing so that is of course pretty darn cool as well but so now having got all of that out of the way let's go ahead and have some fun let's uh let's put it in sport mode we're not on the track right now and it did immediately just downshift for me traction control is actually off as well so having said that it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving me more power on demand and let's go ahead and find this straight away let's do the paddle shifter test here first and by the way to put it in full manual shift mode you can do that all you need to do is simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to give me full control over the shifting it's going to tell me what gear i'm in up on the digital portion of the gauges as well so having said all that what do you guys say now let's find that straight away let's put these things to the test and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right so we are in first gear you guys in three two one yeah that's what i like to see in a car like this it is so important that there are quick reacting paddle shifters when they are available not only that they feel aluminum but dang they are dang quick reacting paddle shifter so that is absolutely wonderful just as good as bmws i've been doing a lot of bmws lately so that was absolutely brilliant so anyways now what i'm going to do is get back full control to the charger scat pack here i'm just going to slide the shifter back to the right and let's do a quick little acceleration test now with the scat pack having full control and let's see how quickly this one can get us here up to speed all right you guys in three two one from a standstill Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that was fun. That was, I don't know how else to describe it. That will give you a smile on your flipping face every time you hit the gas. That was brilliant. Man, that was fun. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front discs. However, there is a Dynamics package that goes for $2,395. That is actually going to give you 15.4 inch ventilated front disc with six piston front calipers. So if you wanted a good bit better braking, go ahead and go with that package. In the back, it's gonna be the same either way, 13.8 inch ventilated rear disc. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, 106 feet as we pull up to this stop sign here. But anyways, 
That 60 to zero stopping distance and 106 feet, that is dang good. That's among the best out there right now. So, and that is with the Brembo package, of course, the Dynamics package, I should say. So that is absolutely wonderful braking. And I can tell you the braking feel is absolutely wonderful in the Charger Scat Pack as expected. There's no softness to it. There's no brake pedal delay. It's pretty darn great. Touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get a short and long arm suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, but the optional suspension package I would go with if I were to go with this one is the adaptive damping suspension. That is $995 option and that is going to give you the best worlds. It's not only going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it is also going to monitor each shock absorber individually, giving you a much smoother ride than as well therefore like i said best of both worlds so whenever that option is available on any vehicle out there any manufacturer i always like to recommend that one because that is really a noticeable difference if not for the handling definitely for the ride quality that is the one where i can immediately notice the difference so if you want a smoother ride and better handling get with that adaptive damping suspension i'm telling you guys but anyways as far as ride quality goes it is perfectly fine honestly you can feel a good bit more of the road i will say but it's perfectly fine for what this vehicle is, I'll put it that way. So do expect to feel a good bit more of the road in a car like the Charger Scat Pack though, I will say that. As far as steering feel goes, definitely on the heavier side. And again, that is completely adjustable by just playing around with the drive mode. So you can make it much heavier feel, you can make it a much looser feel, it's completely up to you, but I would definitely leave it on the heavier side because in a car like this, that is how it is meant to be. But anyways, as far as cabin noise goes, really all I'm getting is the absolutely amazing exhaust note of this thing. And don't you guys worry, we will of course be doing that exhaust clip in a little bit here. So I wanted to mention that, but that is really about it. There isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin. So that's a brilliant thing as well. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. This is a sedan. You're of course not going to have any issues, especially in the shape of this particular sedan. So that is quite brilliant as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack finished in triple nickel. In case anybody was curious about the exterior color name, let me go ahead and start with the hood up top here. Satin black painted hood. This is a $1,995 option to be exact. In case anybody was curious, of course it is functional with that ventilation on the top there, helping extract a little bit of that heat coming from that massive V8 underneath. So definitely a very nice look to a very aggressive look, but let's go ahead and start up front on this one of course you have the scat pack logo found in the corner there of that front grill that is pretty darn cool to the sides halogen projector style headlights do come standard on the charger scat pack however there are optional hid projector headlights and that is actually currently what you guys are looking at right now those actually come with the driver confidence package that goes for 795 dollars does come with some other stuff as well but the hid headlights are probably the most important part of that package so i'm definitely a fan of that tons of extra illumination at night when you compare it to the halogens that actually come standard on this one but either way the automatic feature does come standard on this one meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard and led fog lights then just below as well and they definitely look good on this thing but definitely a very nice look to it overall in case anybody was curious about that little square found in the lower portion of that front grille that is for the adaptive cruise control system which I'll touch on a little bit more when we get to the safety portion of this review but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the Charger Scat Pack and so but now making our way to the side of this one black window surrounds do come standard like the 392 Hemi badging found on the front fender as well course specific to the scat pack taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and they will actually be heated then as well if you're driving this thing in the cold taking a look down at the wheel setup it is going to differ a little bit 20 by 9 inch alloy wheels do come standard on this one there are some optional wheel setups they are 20 by 9.5 inch alloy so you're going to get a little extra grip there if you go with a little wider setup and if you were to go with the wide body variant of this one you will get 20 by 11 inch 
alloy. So best acceleration, best handling, of course, with the wide body variant. And that does come with fender flares on this one as well. Of course, we don't have it today, so I can't show it to you guys, but just take my word for it. That is pretty darn cool. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the charger. And so since we are around back here, there is that satin black rear spoiler that just comes standard on this one. Just below that, LED taillights also coming standard. Absolutely love that. I like that the charger badging back there is also black to tie in together with that hood and with the rear spoiler. That is definitely a good look. Also that Scat Pack B logo can be found on the trunk as well. And just below it all, I think you guys know what we have to do next. Dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So without further ado, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> Alright, so now since we are around back here of the Charger Scat Pack, as far as opening the rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, there's also a button on the trunk itself, kind of, uh, it's kind of hidden, it's kind of cool, and there's also a button on the driver's side door as well, but once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space than if you needed it. Also wanted to let you guys know, if you look up underneath the cargo floor there, there is going to be an inflator kit as opposed to the spare tire, and there is some cargo lighting found in that cargo area then as well. But then, making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 40.1 inches. So for reference, I am at even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back of the charger there. Did wanna also mention, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders and storage as well within that center armrest. So you don't always get that, so I like to emphasize that there. Also, of course, front seat back map pockets. There is rear ventilation for those rear passengers as well. It's definitely nice. And dual rear USB charging ports. Another one of those features you don't always get on sedan, so that is pretty cool as well. And actually, if you went with the Plus Group that goes for $2,095, you actually also get rear heated seats, which is wonderful to get to spoil the rear passengers a little bit there. So. I definitely found the rear seats a very nice place to be in the Charger Scat Pack. But then making our way up to the front seats, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with four-way power lumbar comes standard. Heated front seats also coming standard on this one. Cloth seating is going to be the standard configuration with the B logo towards the top portion of it, of course. But if you went with that plus group that I just mentioned, you will also get Napa leather Alcantara combination, which is the best combination you can get. It's definitely very nice look, the seats were plenty comfortable and that actually gives you memory settings for the driver's seat. So that was definitely very nice in my personal opinion as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable if you go with that plus group again and it will be leather wrapped across the board. So a very nice feel to it there. As far as the startup goes, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Dodge logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and of course, the remote start which does come standard actually on the charger scat pack so you can start it up that way but in this case it is all keyless entry so i'm just going to put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button then and so once upon startup here tachometer is going to be on your left speedometer is all the way to your right and there is a digital display front and center which can be controlled by using some steering wheel mounted controls of course but there is actually a good bit you can check out within this digital portion more so than just about all other vehicles out there believe it or not so of course you can choose to display a digital speedometer that's nice tons of vehicle information when you need your next oil change oil life i should say things like that but the best part is the number three which is labeled performance that gives you your zero to 60 timer which by the way it saves into the system so you can always see your very best zero to 60 time that you have ever gotten in the charger scat pack i think it's pretty cool of course quarter mile as well g4 statistics where dodge really gets it right on their vehicles though is the top speed don't let that incentivize you to go too fast though but it does save the top speed that this vehicle has ever gone throughout the course of its history, which I absolutely love 
Ford has a very similar thing that they do with the Mustang, but they don't have that top speed indicator. So kind of wish they did, but Dodge kills it with this. So tons of information you could check out within that digital portion of the gauges. So I really wanted to emphasize that for you guys. But now let's go ahead and take a look at overall interior quality. There is a power sunroof that is available that goes for around $1,300. We don't have it, so I can't show it to you, but it is there if you wanted it. Suede headliner is going to come with a carbon and suede interior package that goes for approximately $1,600 hundred dollars if you wanted to go that route overhead sunglass holder coming standard on this one dual zoom climate control also coming standard universal garage door openers actually also coming standard that's pretty nice because of course the alternative is of course that garage door opener that clips to the visor and can get noisy when you're driving at highway speed so i love the universal garage door openers also aluminum foot pedals do come standard on this one as well and overall Interior quality is okay. I'll put it that way. It's not the very best, but I will say the Alcantara seats definitely help with the interior quality. And the fact that there is a suede headliner available definitely turns it up a little bit more. But overall, without the suede headliner, with just the standard cloth seats, I wouldn't say interior quality is all that great, quite honestly. But it's not bad in the particular configuration that we have today. I will say that. But now, let's go ahead and take a look at the tech display. 8.4 inch color touchscreen display to come standard. Bluetooth audio streaming coming standard as well. Android Auto Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the charger scat pack and you have free navigation displayed up on that infotainment screen. Fact Factory navigation system goes from $995 if you wanted to go that round, although you don't need it as long as you have a smartphone. So I wanted to mention that. Climate control settings you can access up there as well, including your drive modes and launch control. I don't think I mentioned that one earlier. This charger scat pack does have launch control. So if you were to take this to the track, launch control is pretty cool. It definitely helps you out if you were to take this one to the track. But you can also check out your radio information, of course, up there as well. And by the way, the standard sound system comes with six speakers, but there is an optional 18 $1,500 sound system that is the 19 speaker 3x the speakers there and a little bit more Harman Kardon sound systems what do you say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we have playing here and let's test out the clarity of this one So the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the charger in reverse, you will of course find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start front side, side curtain airbags do come standard in the back. You're going to have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, rear parking sensors though, also coming standard. That is pretty nice. I did want to mention since I keep mentioning it, the plus group package is going to add to that safety, including an auto dimming driver side and rear view mirror, blind spot monitoring system, with rear cross traffic alert as well. And then the technology group is really the safety group for the Charger Scat Pack, quite honestly. They should have just called it the safety group, but it goes for $1,900. That will include adaptive cruise control, advanced brake assist, automatic high beams, forward collision warning system, lane departure warning, and rain sensing windshield wipers then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, this thing has an incredible Hemi engine. It is legendary. It is a legendary V8, I should say, which is a wonderful thing and growing increasingly rare in this day and age. So I absolutely love it. I love that Dodge is sticking with the Hemi engine here. Great, wonderful braking on this thing. I will say that the brakes bite plenty hard. And of course, that is to be expected with those large Brembos up front. Amazing muscle car sound as to be expected with that Hemi engine, of course. And the coolest part about the Charger, at least comparing it to the Challenger, is this is a muscle car with a back seat. So it can be a family muscle car. So if you got kids, this is a brilliant compromise, let me tell you. But overall, when it comes to room for improvement on this one, again, the interior quality is just so-so. I wouldn't mind if Dodge up the interior quality a little bit there, but also LED headlights should really be coming standard in this day and age. I think it's so weird that a forty-five dollars to $50,000 car comes with halogens. That's kind of, it's kind of weird. And you can imagine people would be driving the Charger Scat Pack at night. So LEDs is what every other manufacturer is going with right now because they are a little less expensive than the HIDs, but 
On the Charger Scat Pack, you got halogen standard and HIDs optional. You can't even get LEDs on this thing. So wouldn't mind if Dodge switched it up. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Charger Scat Pack in the comments section below. Feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.